Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Warcast. And this is Party from Team Warcast. And this is uh, CCG Archaeology. Mm, we're in a museum. Mm. We are in the museum and these are uh, things we found in the museum. These are two starter sets, starter decks for um, Young Jedi. And so this is a game loosely based on the Decipher Star Wars game, also by Decipher. Yeah, it's kind of like simplified, like a Pokemon version yeah. of this. Pokemon version? Uh, yeah, yeah, the Pokemon trading card game version of this. Oh, okay. For young, that... for young people, whatever. You know, it's like... That I'll accept, but Pokemon itself is ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't want to insult your Pokemon uh, sensibility. <laughs> I do. Not. I'm not a Pokemon player. Uh, so, if you haven't seen our first video, just a quick reminder: on the in the corners, we have our how many cards are still in the deck. Because if you lose all the cards in the deck, then you lose a game. Yes. Uh, we just de derived uh, by um, you know top decking cards. We derived uh, which who begins the game. Uh, I'm going to be beginning the game. I'm on the left. I'm playing the dark side, Yaro is playing the light side this time. And so this game comes from a time when in CCGs, <laughs> Tales from the Most Isley Cantina. Yeah, I, I bought it because you recommended it to me. It's pretty good. I liked it. Did you like it? I just read the first story and man, I was I just couldn't deal with Greedo. <laughs> that was a heart-wrenching story. Yeah. So this is at a time in CCG history when people used decks and cards for way different things than they do now. Huh? So, like, the cards have multiple meanings. You have your character, you have the power oh, yeah. that it can do, and then there's a little icon for, like, a die, and that's how much power it can add if you draw it from the deck. Well, yeah, that was a mechanic from the um, uh, old uh, Star Wars CCG yeah. um, uh, thing. But we also find similar mechanics in games like Doomtown. Doomtown, that's true. I forgot Doomtown is still around. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that was also a game that, that was uh, kind of like a... I don't know, Doomtown was kind of like a late late game. Yeah, late, it was uh, around CCG. the same time as uh, 7C. 7C and Doomtown did a lot of the same Well, things. 7C had the same uh, mechanic where cards could, uh, could be used for two purposes. Yes. All right, so we begin again. Have for the first round, you place your guys face down, and then you draw up to six. Then now Yaro places his guys face down and draws up to six, and then we uh, then we start flipping up those guys, uh, flipping over the guys. So I have like three Whoa. battle droids and a blaster. <laughs> They're gonna fight over. <laughs> it's a very Russian moment here. Uh, uh, I'll wear the shoes. You get the gun this round. <laughs> Two girls on a cup. <laughs> what? No! I oh, don't. No. No. Oh, three, gar oh, three guards and uh, the Nemodian and a blaster. So maybe something also to add, like there's like little pips in the corner um, that show you basically um, how much, how many, how much a character costs. Yeah. And I think you can only only put like a, a total of um, I think four or no six maybe of those pips on the, on the board. At the, at the oh my gosh. Uh, all right. So yeah, he gets also a bunch of characters. There's also a, a, a little. Little Jawa, lots of pilots. Uh, we are in Coruscant in the in the Senate Senate thing. They're flying around in those little uh, their little chairs mm, where Yoda was was doing the fight later on. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if which character is boosted by this, but he certainly has some Coruscant characters. I don't have any Coruscant characters at all. So I, that's kind of like something I I thought was a bit sad that you first pick the location and then you draw your first cards. Yeah. Like, it would be nice if you could draw, like, an opening hand and then decide where you fight, dep depending on what kind of cards you have. I mean, I suppose that deck construction then would focus on one environment. I mean, I don't know how this works, how, how actual deck decks work. If everybody had focused... I, I, I assume you would focus on your environment. You would have, like, your favorite locations. Yeah. And then and then make sure that you only have characters that are boosted by this one location. But you said that there are uh, ships in later expansions? Yes. So you can kind of control what location you're in. And not only that, you can like at any given point you can change the location. That's uh, you amazing. You can like as as long as it's the same planet. Yeah. So we could go to like the Jedi chamber now if I had the Jedi chamber card on hand if, if there was a good reason for me to do so. Wow. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. So somebody was killed off real real bad here. Uh, all right, so this is a droid fighting against uh, the captain here. Oh. The captain is being a badass. Well, she's also boosted additionally by um, by this location here. Hey, he's blowing through a lot of his uh, his upgrades, it seems. 
Mm. It seems like he should hold on to those until you finally get a Darth Maul on the board. Uh, I don't know. I haven't found a good reason to hold on to cards yet. Really? Because okay. I, yeah, I don't know. I, it's not, not, you know, it's not like magic or anything where you have like combat tricks. Well, at least not in these decks. Well, we have to do, yeah, yeah, we have to say, like, the decks are very simplistic now. It's just really, really just to learn the basic mechanics of the game. And of course, there are combat tricks, but I feel like they're not as, like, I don't know, um, devastating, laser sharp, pronounced? you know? Yeah. Okay. You cannot, you, you cannot, because you cannot choose which, you cannot really choose the pairings very well. I'd be super interested. You said that you were approached by some people who have played the game and talked about the decks. I'd be interested in seeing those decks in action. Yes. I'd like to see some high level play. Of this I, yeah. Game. So the next thing we're going to do after after we got this these games is so, um, we are going to do open more boosters and we're going to try to build some more advanced decks. Nice. So anyway, so things are going like kind of okay. I'm kind of like a bit behind, which is weird because I started the attack and now I'm losing. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's just, I don't know how this happens all the time. So. This is Jaro. He's wearing his Angry Bird shirt, so he's knocking you down, you worthless pig. He's uh, Angry Bird's Star Wars t-shirt. Mm. All right, so the Jawa uh, eats, eats it. I can't believe you gave up on Extended Universe stuff. I still have the book. I'm just not reading too much of it. Yeah, I don't blame you. I can't believe you wouldn't do that. Okay, so this is going to be a 8 versus 8. So it's a it's a do a see uh, Yaro miscounted again and I had to remind him no bro that doesn't you don't have that much <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the captain uh, eats it here that's great oh you guys are so you're still down I want to see you winning why aren't you winning come on I know I don't know man I just killed so many things and I'm still like one card behind what's what's the matter here yeah the the the, the new republic is like Hydra. And by the way, I had to discard two cards now because they were location cards, and I had to draw up. And now I'm like way behind. If you kill one, like, and so many actions in this game make you lose cards from your deck. Yeah. So sometimes you're like you're thinking like, oh, and then I'm gonna draw cards because drawing cards is good. But then suddenly you also lose cards from the deck. That's why I don't really like this. I don't not really well not I'm not f used to this mechanic of your deck being your life points. Yeah. So here's Yaro. He gave up. Um, no, he actually changed the location now. Yeah, you now you guys are in the, the Jedi Council chamber. In the, in the Council chamber. And this is really great because he has like those um, those captains. Hmm. Not this captain, but the pilots who are boosted by the chamber. He only has, also has one well, captain who was bo boosted by the chamber that we had previously. All right, so this is going to be a bunch of, of pilots against a bunch of robots. Nice. Just seems unfair. Uh, I don't know. The robots were kind of flimsy. I don't know. Oh. All right. So that, that's the one robot down the drain. Uh, I'm still losing one. Jesus. They're just mowing me down now. No kidding. My the location God. change, it seems like a location change was a really good idea by you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yay, you got one pilot out, I, I guess. Got, at least got the pilot here. Yeah. That's good. So you're within six, but now you're going to draw back up and it's going to be worse. Well, he draws back, back up now because it was his turn. He was attacking. Ah, okay. but, I, but I lost a lot of characters now. I have only two characters. He has also two characters, but he has one weapon more. I learned uh, what, losing weapons is kind of an issue. <coughs> so here is a battle droid officer. Let me see your identification. He he is also boosted by the chamber, so that's great. That's weird that he's boosted by the chamber. Yeah, he's kind of like hanging out in the, in the, in the uh, with the Jedi's, you know. That's, that's, his, <laughs> that's where his homies are at. <laughs> My homies. <laughs> My homies, homies. <laughs> 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 Getting out more blasters. Something that I found odd is that all the blasters are have the same mechanics, but they look look different. That's something that's kind of really weird. And some of them cost the resources, uh, but some of them are free. But they all still use the same mechanics. It's, it's, <laughs> how, what gives? <laughs> what, what, what gives? It's kind, it's kind of funny. He has two characters and two weapons, and it's like it doesn't matter. <laughs> like it's both the same characters and the same weapons. <laughs> uh, so I can kind of predict kind of what I'm gonna um, be fighting against. But both are very powerful characters. You gotta take out one of them, man. Just gotta take out one of them. But you know, we haven't seen Darth Maul or Obi-Wan yet. One of the Obis. 
Zombie. Yo. Alright. Oh yeah, boosting. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, no, it's not the strong guy. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, Alright. Nobody dies. Son of a biscuit. But I but I use more resources in yeah. this, so, so I kind of lose this battle. Boom. Okay, so this is my strong robot. Come on, strong robot. Yes! 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 Oh, come yes! back! Mm. Oh. oh, that felt good. <laughs> and there's like three additional characters I break through. F for the first time, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We are witnessing... <laughs> A but tremendous it's going to be turn. very short-lived because I, I, I'm discarding another card and drawing it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's okay. Remember that one time you were winning? That, that was great. It was, was glorious. That, that's, 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 so that's how it feels like. <laughs> um, so I think we're going to change location now. Gyaro gives up this planet. And we're going to the pot race arena. What? <laughs> Scene arena. change! On Tatooine. You, don't you remember, Nick? Do, do, pod, don't you think... Now this is pod racing! Maz Kanata's is there. She's there somewhere. Uh, you think... Was she there? She. I mean, nah. that's where she, she got... She has all those flags from pod racing. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Hmm. Now that was pod racing. Man, that was pod racing. It's working! I like how I'm used to discarding things like in um, Netrunner, mm. face down. Mm. Oh, there we go. I, I turned it around. All right, so we have like two guards and a and a weapon. Yaro is six cards ahead, even though he didn't do anything. Yaro. Six Yaro. cards ahead. Dear sweet Jesus. I know, right? Okay. What's even happening here? Well, he's deploying more characters now. Oh, my God. So yeah, he has a bunch of guards, three, uh, four guards and three weapons. I only have uh, a bunch of Nemodians and a battle droid. <laughs> <laughs> and then two, uh, two additional robots. Where the heck so I get more? more characters. And again, like this magic thinking comes back where it's like, yeah, having more characters, I guess, good. But he has all the weapons, so this is going to be a slaughtering, I think. How Timmy. Mm, and I was thinking like I had the booster cards um, that kind of strategic and like the combat tricks so uh, I, maybe I still have an advantage but he also has three of combat cards oh so my God. he can do whatever you want he can do whatever he wants all right, so Nick, so what do you think this will will happen then? You know, I'm hoping to the man Jesus or Lady Jesus that you somehow pull off a victory. But with how many resources the Republic seems to have on this particular planet, I don't see it happening. I have a bunch of Tatooine characters, but I don't think yeah, they're actually boosted by the arena here. They're this robot, so this is good. He has up to six here. Oh. But he managed to get ten. What? <laughs> I think uh -huh. that Yaro here is just built for this game. I seriously, this is like we un un uncovered some kind of genius here. Yeah. So this robot is kind of weak. He is not boosted by this location, and Yaro has like another bl blaster here, getting another ten. Bam! Uh, Big guns on this guy. Jesus. And robots falling left and right. Yep. Oh. And nine. Oh my god! Against mine four. He put out more firepower than a de than the Death Star in this particular. And then another Nemodian here. And nothing happens. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and and, and two more Nemodians. Oh, tied! So You're tied. We're even. We're even. <laughs> <laughs> Moral victory. But, but now I'm drawing up back up to six. So now <laughs> I'm down to twelve again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh man! Oh, he's got Obi Wan in his hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he also, does. <laughs> and also, he has like three guys and three three blasters, and I have no blasters and three guys. Oh my god! My guys are so much weaker than his. So he places Jawa and man. So I think at this point, I probably should have given up the planet. <laughs> um, but I decided not to, and I think that was a mistake. Because there's just no way for me to to win this fight uh, with the three blasters. So, 
But again, you know, that's kind of like the, the kind of learning experience that you do when you learn a new game. You kind of uh, learn what kind of things you have to pay attention to. Right, Nick? Correct. Correct. Oh right, my so, god. So, yeah, that's going to be a Nemodian dying and two cards down the drain. So, this game is essentially Another Nemodian dying, two cards down the drain. It's going to be a Nemodian slaughtering here. It's a Nemodian genocide. Dude. God, they have no chance. Like, stop hitting them! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they're already on the ground. So, so, see, that was like that was um, predictable, and uh, strategically, I probably should have given up the planet because I had very valuable characters on this planet, and they yeah. had no chance against the opponent. So now I'm down to four cards, and things are really bad. So capturing a planet like that, um, yeah. does that? do anything for you yeah so if you capture two planets you also win oh so you captured but, a planet he's captured two planets no he also captured planets there are three planets always tatooine coruscant and oh oh okay and so i captured coruscant he captured tatooine and now we're continuing in naboo but i'm down to just one card <laughs> that's my last card <laughs> yeah Probably not gonna win this one. <laughs> you can do it. You just gotta take everything out because Obi Wan's gonna be on this planet. Yeah, if if he doesn't doesn't have anything uh, in, on on his on the board, then uh, then maybe I can win. But even the blasters are not doing anything because I cannot actually draw a card. If I draw the cards using a blaster, I will I will uh, lose the game. Oh my god! This this is this is just. You know, a lot of my Netrunner games end up like this. Yeah, and so we're like discussing this, like how do, how we're gonna deal with this? I, do I have to draw this card now? Like, how does it work? Uh, kind of confusing because from Netrunner we're used also like to the situation where it's like you know, um, if you discard all your your, your entire hand, yeah, you you're not dead yet. You still have to discard a card and not being able to, you know. Yeah, you have in compulsory draw for corp. That's when you lose. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, not by decking. I mean, by when you, when you when yeah, you get damage. damage. Then you you lose all your cards on your hand, and if your hand is empty, and then you get a damage, then you lose the game. Yeah. Uh, but this is not like here, where here is like when you draw the last card, you lose the game. So I just lost. Oh, right, put your hand out. Yeah, putting your and hand out. And he's not gonna shake this. it. What it mean? Oh, there he goes. Uh, he was he was reading the manual because we weren't sure if I lost the game. But yeah, I lost the game. Oh. There's no way for me to win. And this. you never got Maul out on the table. Oh my god! Nope, none of none of us got got a got a big big player out. So he table. overwhelmed you with weenies. And that was a battle of the plebs. Worst Star Wars movie I ever saw. <laughs> Just a bunch of Modians <laughs> and Jawas. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of grunting and slimy creatures just wandering yeah. around. So, Nick, so what did you think about Young Jedi? Uh, you know, I want to see non-beginner play. Yeah. Like, not, not not to say that you guys don't know what you're doing, but I just want to see... We don't know what we're doing, Nick. It's, it's, I, well, it's I want to see decks that aren't starter. We'll, we'll yeah. say that. Because I, I, I don't want to speak poorly of you guys. I want to speak poorly of the decks that you guys were using. Yeah. Because I would imagine course, that's just going to be a 50-50 shot across the board. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to try to open up a, some boosters and build some more advanced decks. Also, maybe not quite as symmetrical decks as we saw here. Also, get the um, ship play involved as well, so you can get um, you know, all the characters stranded on the planets that you conquered. Um, so yeah, that's it's something that will come up in the future. And, and again, if you've been playing this game, if you know how to play Young Jedi, and you're watching this and you're cringing out, <laughs> instead of you, you use the cringe energy to something useful and let us know what we did wrong. Yeah. Uh, and how 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 you know what your experience? What were your experiences back when you were playing this game? Yeah, because we'd love to. I'd love to actually get out and start interviewing and talking to people about these oh. particular games. That's what we. That's why we do um, CCG, CCG archaeology in the first place. Yeah, uh, even though they belong in a museum, and all of all of the fans that played these games also belong in a museum, myself included. Uh, people like museums. Yeah, museums are nice. It belongs in a museum.